College campuses tend to be politically active places, and Election Day is just around the corner. Citrus TV reporter David Edelstein is live in studio with information some students weren't told. The 2017 general election is now less than two weeks away, and while many students are saying voting is important, some actually won't be allowed to. Into who is running your country and who is running in your state and your um, district as well. So I feel like if we all like collectively voted, we would have a really big uh, say in what goes on in our government. I just think it's important that um, like each vote is represented and uh, that everyone has a say in like what what's going on. It's crucial now more than ever that students are not only active in their communities but are participating in the politics. But while students generally say they want to vote, many say they have not registered yet. The problem? The deadline to register to vote in the general election was last Wednesday. This, just one reason young voters are not going to the polls. Thompson says millennials are the largest voting bloc, making up 40% of all eligible voters. But he says less than half of them actually do. As a result, politicians are not paying attention to our wants, our desires, uh, and we're not able to have the true impact that we can. Some students are saying that what led to this is that they just didn't know what to do. I think if they actually sent out an email like like just saying the information that you just told me, I think that would be really helpful just because I had no idea and I'm pretty sure a lot of other people have no idea as well. If you have already registered to vote but will not be in the area on election day, you can still apply for an absentee ballot. Mailed applications are due next Tuesday, while in-person applications can be filed all the way up to and on November 6th.